first, let's get over to cooking, which we already had scheduled, and Darren's in charge of that today. And Dana Johnson came down. She's part of the Fox 40 family here. She's with us all the time from Dana's Family Kitchen. So it's eggnog day today. Eggnog day today. You have brought eggnog in before, actually. It was not that long ago. But now that we're getting closer to the season, I'm glad you're doing a, a, a repeat on this because well, who doesn't actually, love it? Um, in addition to what we did before. Good. So anyway, heat up some eggnog. I've never tried this before until just recently. And then just mix it in the heated eggnog with some cocoa and make a different flavored cocoa. It's even creamier. It's wonderful. Use the low fat, use the whole, it doesn't matter. So you just took hot cocoa and mixed it with eggnog. Mix it with eggnog. And that's good? And Comes out good? Okay, we're, we'll and try that later. Okay. Yes, you will. Okay. okay Why has no one thought of that before? I don't know. Okay. And I'm doing it now. Anyway, also some baking mix. Follow the instructions to make waffles instead of milk. Use whole eggnog. There you go. And then, there it is. So you've taken the eggnogs and uh, you're, we're basically going to end up with eggnog waffles here, we're right? Is that what? Eggnog waffles and go ahead. Have which we've got a couple over here already. It's a whole different flavor. Wonderful. Again, something a new tradition maybe for your holiday. Eggnog cookies, the greatest thing. Two ingredients. This I have done for you before. Whole eggnog, one box of cake mix, one and a half cups of eggnog, 350, eight to 10 minutes, period. That's it. That's all you need. Well, there's some mixing you. involved, right? You've got there's to at least. There's some mixing, but you can do this. <laughs> I believe you can do it. And then I have some helpers here today. I have Luke and Juliet, and they are so wonderful using the eggnog ice cream for me. Go ahead and put in a scoop, and we're making floats. And just keeping it real simple with a float with some cream soda. And then if you don't want to have too much sugar, go ahead and use club soda. And I found some sugar-free caramel. And go ahead and just stack it up like that and make a float. Wow, this worked out This worked out beautifully. All of the things you can do with eggnog. So I'm assuming it's eggnog ice cream over there, it right? Is, is that what we're doing? eggnog ice cream and the cream soda. Oh, together, just that. That's Sugarville. Right yeah, there. tell me about it. And Juliet's being very patient there while her brother Luke works on scooping that in there. Have we gotten through everything here? Was there anything we else that you brought in that was did. eggnog? Again, I, I always want to talk, though, about bringing the fruit in. Bringing it in. And you know what? This eggnog here, when you're making these cookies, be sure to use the whole eggnog from Sunnyside Farms. If you use the low fat, they come out very flat. You lose a lot, right? If you're gonna, well, they just go flat. That's kind of like the point of eggnog. Just accept the fact that eggnog's going to have a lot of fat and just, you know, only having it during Christmas. If you go for the Everything low fat Everything in stuff, moderation. Yeah. Absolutely. That's why we only do this during this time of year. You're not going to be having eggnog in July. That would be a very bad idea, right? Indeed even, it would. Even Dana's Family Kitchen says that. Yeah, well, plus <laughs> they don't have it in the stores at that time anyway. So oh, enjoy it. it while it's here. All right. Dana, thank you so you're much. Welcome. You brought down two and three and four of our favorites for this time of year and you made two kids over here very happy Yay. great job over there Thank luke and julia so thanks for hanging out with us all right guys back to you some of our favorite kids in fact in eggnog waffles that is uh, that oh, is genius smells fantastic uh, it's 926 at fox 40 we are waiting now for a press conference to begin uh, we understand law enforcement